Welcome back to another exciting episode with me, Glampay. I just want to say thank you so much for all the support. Thank you to my subscribers, new and old, and especially shout out to you for investing in your style journey and for choosing me to be a part of it. I really appreciate that so much. All right, let's get started. Today's episode is all about the guys. Yes, so guys, we're going to be talking about how to identify your shape. If you remember, we did the females last week. So this week, we're going to be talking about you. Yes, you. All right, I'm going to give you some tips on how to identify what shape you are and also just to give you some tips on how to dress for your body shape. This is so important. Even if you're not a fashion lover, as long as you own clothes, you do have a sense of personal style. I think it's so important because just think about this. When people meet you for the first time, they don't know how awesome you are. Unfortunately, they do judge based on your appearance. So what you can do is at least dress in a way that fits your personality, dress in a way that really expresses who you are. After that, ain't got nothing to do with you, you know what I'm saying? All right, so let's hop right into it. The first shape today I'm talking about is the inverted triangle. So how can you tell if you have an inverted triangle? Listen to the following. When you have an inverted triangle body, that means that your shoulders are broad and they are broader than your hips. That also means that your hips are quite narrow and you have a very well-defined chest. Apparently, according to research on Googly Goo, this is the most coveted male body. So this would be the equivalent of the hourglass for females. I don't know. I think everybody's beautiful, but whatevs. This is something that characterizes the inverted triangle. So if you are an inverted triangle, what type of styles should you look for? Well, you should look for things that really highlight your waist, that also highlight your shoulders. Um, you don't want to go too boxy because you already have such nice definition at the top. So what you will do is go for blazers with something called a British cut. Now a British cut comes right in the middle. It can be double breasted. It can when you wear a British cut, that means that the shoulders are emphasized and also your waist. So you probably find one or two buttons kind of cinched that really just accentuates this um, inverted triangular shape. Coming up, we have our second shape and that is the rectangle. How do you identify if you are a rectangle? First things first, that means that there isn't much difference between the width of your shoulders and your waist, right? So that means you have quite a rectangular shape and this is actually not that bad. I can actually give you some advice on what to wear. You are looking for a definition to create a silhouette and a balance. These are the items that you can choose if you are a rectangle. You can choose things that have a v-neck. Do not go for round necks as this can kind of like let your silhouette get lost. And what you want to do is actually wear a lot of blazers, a lot of masculine jackets, something that's always going to play with your silhouette. You also want a little bit of emphasis around your waist. When you are a rectangle, just keep this in mind. You want to go for patterns that are horizontal because that adds some width for your shape. If you are a rectangle, do avoid vertical stripes like pinstripes going down as this really elongates your figure. And if you're a rectangle, you're really looking to add a little bit of width, obviously, depending on your size. If you are a wider rectangle, you're going to go for vertical. If you're a slim rectangle, then you're going to go for horizontal lines. Our third shape is the rounded shape or oval. I've been doing some research and it looks like a whole bunch of shapes and fruits have been added, but I like to keep things simple. So for this video, I'm just going to go with the round shape. Now, how can you identify if you have a round shape? That means that your shoulders are more rounded and less defined and actually your neck is a little bit short. 
You also have a flattish upper chest and your torso is quite short. So if you are rounded, you just have to create a little bit of a silhouette where you can fool people into thinking that you're somewhat of an inverted triangle. And here's how. For the rounded figure, I recommend single breasted blazers with a slim lapel that really creates a very strong silhouette and actually gives you such nice definition at the top. For the rounded figure, I also recommend vertical stripes as this elongates your torso. Do avoid horizontal stripes as that adds a little bit of width to you and what you're trying to do is create a slimmer silhouette. Coming up finally is our last shape and that is the triangle. So how can you identify if you are a triangle? That means your shoulders are sloped and your shoulders and your chest are less defined and narrower than your hips. So what you want to do is create some definition and also reduce the width of your hips by creating more width at the top. For example, I would recommend a t-shirt or a polo shirt that has stripes at the top that creates more width here and slims down where you're most likely to be a bit pudgy which is right by your stomach area. Also for the triangle I also recommend a single breasted jacket with a shirt that you can wear untucked. What this creates is a strong silhouette at the top thus balancing it with the bottom. For my next video, I'll be including celebrity lookalikes with similar body shapes where you can find fashion examples as well. I'm so excited to finally be covering the males. If you have any comments or any recommendations or any specific topic that you'd like for me to cover, do comment at the bottom and I'll make sure to add it to my next video. For more information and daily inspiration, please follow me on glambay underscore official on Instagram and also look out for my Monday Q&As. That's when I post FAQs, frequently asked questions on Instagram and I give you some examples how to better understand it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll be seeing you soon. From me to you, have a fabulous day.